Hey, hello there Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. I'm grateful you're here to watch your tarot card prediction. This card reading covers September 4th to the 8th of 2018. Keep in mind these general readings will not always resonate. You will know when it resonates with you. What does not is meant for another. More personal readings can be booked. Check out the links below for more information. Remember to check out your past video predictions. They will resonate more clearly then when that time has arrived. This is an evolving channel. I hope you stay tuned in. Okay, Capricorn, off camera, I have blessed, meditated, and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere of the week. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background. Number eight of swords, Capricorn, feeling a little restriction and some maybe bound to something. The eight of swords, Capricorn. This may be a fear to move out of a situation. It is a temporary durance. It could be that you're being your own worst enemy because you can change matters. This is a bad situation that is temporary. You may be feeling trapped, making excuses, maybe a little vic victim mentality. Use courage to think in a new way and you'll be freed from restrictions and frustration. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. This is the immediate future. The Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles, Capricorn. See the waves in the background, they go up and they go down. You see how someone can juggle, the juggling, it goes up and down. These are handling the ups and downs of life. This is the ability to juggle the two situations at one time. And your skillful manipulation will achieve success. There's harmony in the midst of changes. There's good fortune and there's going to be an enjoyed times. Could be a message about money coming. But yes, better times they lie ahead. So adapt to these changes and keep your good sense of humor. And you're going to be managing priorities, maybe moving, but you will be keeping busy. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. Number eight of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Death. This is not an actual card of death. This is a card of change. See the sun coming up? That's a new dawn. This is death in the major arcana. This affects you in a major way. It's a major change. Number eight. This is renewal and transformation. It's destruction followed by renewal. This is an ending and a new life follows, and new opportunities. This is something you need to release, and it may be painful. This card stands for Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. This is a transition and letting go. So look for a new path. Could be a change in your job or relationship or some long-standing belief, but it is a new chapter or a new idea. And this card is ruled by the planet Saturn. Your fourth card, it's the future. It's the outcome. It's the results. The advice. Another major card in the Rider Waite deck. Number 18, the moon. You're feeling insecurities. Number 18, the moon. This is another major card. This is using your intuition and your imagination. There may be some deception around you. This has to do with dreams and your fears and your anxieties. You're also gestating something in your mind. This is the card for Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Sometimes they're hidden enemies. Someone has psychic talent. But these are insecurities that you're unable to see how your actions affect your future. And success is going to come. You just have to endure these insecurities. Yes, you are on the correct path. 
So pay attention to your dreams and hunches. You might feel moody and face some emotional tests. So listen to your instincts. The fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. It's what's unseen. Mm, a gift of money. The Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn. This is a gift from life. This is an opportunity for real growth. It's new money and success. It's something you can create value with. It's an opportunity. This is the beginning of gain and pleasure and beauty. A seed to be nurtured. So you can also find inspiration and joy in nature. And you can say yes. Do something from your heart. There's prosperity. You can ground yourself with proper self-care, rest, and leisure. And that'll help you with your anxieties. Thank you so much, Capricorn. Thank you for all those wonderful comments and validations. Please keep them coming and subscribe. You guys keep me inspired and thrilled to keep making these videos for you. Bless you. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light.